That was our dilemma. Your the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, family values stuff, you know. It is not an argument, it's an elegant suspicion. Tiger, tiger, burning in the forests of the night. What immortal hand or eye could frame thy gifts? We speak of the clearing in the wood, a free, luminous place. In fact, when you look at the, uh, the iconic significance of churches, you know, the, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, the family values stuff, you know, I mean, I hate to sound cynical, but as Freud says, the whole thing is so patently infantile. So obviously infantile. Lack of power. That was our dilemma. Yet in other moments, we found ourselves thinking, when enchanted by a starlit night, who then made all this? There was a feeling of awe and wonder, but it was fleeting and soon lost. Let America once again rise up and be an example to the rest of the world. The shining city on a hill. Make us once again the world's last great hope. Show forth the power of the gospel to rebirth the individual and the state. Our hope is in you, Lord. Our strength is in you, Lord. Our life is in you, Lord. Pathological mechanisms which are psychically necessary for living. Just like the believer's faith, even today in the late 20th century, if you want to hang on to it stubbornly enough, can't be shaken, although that's cold comfort, given that any belief you want to hang on to stubbornly can't be shaken. It is not an argument, it's an elegant suspicion. Assembling was so large a part of middle-class life that honesty and frankness seemed the most devious stratagem of all. The most outright lie was the closest one came to truth. You would go, oh no, it's based on what's really true. Yeah, but but how does that get meted in, uh, how does that get meted out in parts down? Who decides that? Well, the blunt and ugly answer is. We're all, I think, immersed in a culture of what I might call sophomoric relativism. By that I mean we go, well, that's my opinion, damn it. Yeah. Yeah.